In 8.12, I wanted to uh, really focus on pollution and human health. Um, so even though we've been talking about water pollution, I am going to dabble a little bit in the other types of pollution. I do want to start by saying it's really difficult sometimes to determine exactly a cause and effect between pollutants and human health because we're exposed to so many things. And they can have an additive effect. They can have a, um, you know, counteractive effect. So it really, again, it, it's challenging. Um, but there are definitely some things that we know for sure have health effects. So we talked about air pollution, talked about how it can cause um, respiratory issues, especially ozone. Oops, sorry, cat watching the computer. Uh, where was I? So you, we talked about how ozone, uh, the tropospheric ozone can uh, make respiratory issues even more, um, more challenging. We talked about radon, how radon can cause um, lung cancer because the exposure to the radioactive particles can do damage to your DNA. Asbestos causes mesothelioma. Uh, soil pollution can come from, you know, ingesting food that's got pesticides on it, or can come from inhalation of like vapors coming from the soil. Um, so it can include mostly pesticides, but you know, any sort of toxins that get into the soil uh, can cause kidney or liver damage, skin cancer if you um, are exposed to it, you know, physically a lot. It cause respiratory issues. Noise pollution can cause you know, ear damage, but it can also cause things like hypertension and stress, um, sleeping problems, water pollution. Uh, if it's contaminated water, can cause illnesses such as typhoid, cholera, and dysentery. Pesticides can do damage to the nervous system and your endocrine system. It can also cause cancers. Nitrates restrict oxygen to the to the brain that can cause um, blue baby syndrome. So those were things like uh, from fertilizers. Uh, heavy metals such as lead, mercury, arsenic can cause major your organ damage and impaired development. Light pollution can mess with your circadian rhythm, alter the melatonin production, and it can cause sleeping disorders. So here's a nice chart to summarize a whole bunch of this stuff. I definitely can't take credit for this. I just found it, but I thought it was really helpful. And that is all.